Hey, I'm Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe, and today I had the pleasure of being joined with Zane Gonzalez. Zane, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I appreciate you uh, having me here. And I'm going to tell you, I'm about to be your best hype man that you've ever met. You know why? <laughs> So I, I saw today that you have less than a thousand followers on Twitter, and you know you're you're my you're the player of the week for the NFC, and I'm just I'm just not gonna allow that to happen. But we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, yeah. right? I got <laughs> so, a good story for that one. I got a good reason. You got a good reason. Yeah, I got a good reason. Okay, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, before we talk about the, the NFL career and the, the player of the week, which is congratulations on getting that for special Thank team. You, I appreciate it. Let's go to Arizona State for a second. Uh, you had a pretty good career there, and I don't. I want to ask you: Do you still hold the record for career field goals for the NCAA? Uh, I'm not sure if I still do. I think I might. Uh, those kind of accolades and records, I never really kept up with. Uh, <laughs> Back in the day, ASU just notified me if I broke a record or something. They kind of kept track of that more than I did. Uh, I like to think I still got it, though. I hope you know so. the number? <laughs> uh, I want to say it was in the 90s or something. It was okay. like 97, maybe. OK. Something crazy. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I always like to ask pro guys about their high school football career, because there's yeah. always something interesting <laughs> story that they could share. Yeah. What's the first one that comes to mind when I ask you about high school football? Oh, man. Uh, high school football, the only thing I really remember is I used to be a punter in high school, so uh, there a lot of snaps I went over my head, right? I'd go, <laughs> go running after it, chase it, try to scramble for a first down, which never happened. It was basically just me getting tackled 15 yards in the backfield. Uh, <laughs> uh, high school was a good time, though. I enjoy it. I, I'd say the biggest memory was my senior year I had a game one and field goal in the first round of playoffs and okay. Texas State playoffs, kind of a big deal. So, feeling myself a little bit after that one. How long was that field goal? <laughs> like a 30 yarder. 30 or yards. Something, <laughs> something short. Not even an extra point now. Did you, what other positions did you play in high school other than kicker? Uh, I just played kicker. I wasn't even in the football period, in all honesty. Like, I was a soccer player. Saw that you could through. play. Uh, went out to practice for 15 minutes a day, kicked field goals, and then they'd send me about my way back to soccer. So, okay. Now, been out in Arizona for college. Did you ever, by chance, go to Lake Havasu, Arizona? No, I never <laughs> had the privilege to go there. Uh, being a college kid, I realized you need a boat to go there. <laughs> <laughs> college, get your hands on a boat is pretty impossible, so I couldn't get out, get out there. So that's, that's the only place I've been in Arizona. Now, I'll share a super quick personal story. I learned, I went there for spring break years ago, and oh, learned after day blast. one, that we had to go and rent a boat, else we were not gonna have any fun at all. So that's that's funny to hear you say that because exactly. we quickly got our money together. Said, hey, let's get a boat because yep. you go out to the to the canyons out there. Exactly, and you know, college is everybody's just rubbing nickels together pretty much at that point. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so let's let's get on to this player of the week. Uh, just a couple of days ago in, in Atlanta, you were uh, four for four, mm. uh, had a 51 yard, a 57 yard field goal as well, along with some extra points. <laughs> yeah. What was that that day like for you, man? Uh, it's just one of those days I woke up feeling good. Um, like I said in the interview after the game, like anytime you get a chance to kick indoors, there's always a chance to just go out there and just less stress, rather than the wind or anything like that, and nothing's mm -hmm. coming to factor. So just embracing the moment and going out there and um, hoping for those opportunities, and the opportunities came, and I was just ready to go and uh, knocked them down. What was the locker room like for a guy like you after a game like that? Because kickers, you guys kind of have this love hate with the with media that is. I don't know how it is with the uh, with the, co the players. But yeah, uh, the definitely a love hate with the media. Uh, <laughs> try to keep it a little bit more love if I can. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just a good feeling. I mean, we got a bunch of good guys in the locker room. They really embraced me from the time I got here to now. So. After the game, she got a lot of uh, congrats, good job, stuff like that. But all in all, everybody was just happy for the team win. I mean, after going on a little 0 and 4 skid there, I mean, everybody was just pumped to get that W, and it's pretty much all I wanted to do, anyways. Yeah, I believe it was Shaq Thompson that introduced you, right, <laughs> yeah. for the media. Uh, you got the game ball as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool. Moving on. Um, I think I had you as far as some just creative questions. I don't know if you've ever had this happen to you yet, but. Uh, if it was a fake field goal call, right? <laughs> Have you ever had one of those calls for you? Uh, we ran a fake in college, and I okay. <clears throat> ran a little corner route and caught it for a two-point conversion, but that was about it. Well, I was going to give you two options, okay? A fake field goal call in the NFL. Do you want to throw the ball, or do you want to run the ball? I want to throw it. You want to throw it? 100%. I want to throw it. <laughs> I'm just waiting on the day I get a chance to throw the ball. I, I love it. So. so you can throw a little bit? Yeah, I can sling it a little bit. Okay. Something else uh, in terms of you guys are kickers, but you know, if called upon, you need to make a tackle, right? Yep. Have you ever had one of a memorable situation of having to make a tackle? Uh, nothing memorable. I mean, if it is memorable, it's memorable in a bad way. Uh, I've gotten my ankles broke a couple times. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Try to go for the sweep the ankles and. You realize some of those guys are pretty quick when they make a cut, so not uh, not exactly my proudest moments there. Okay, okay. 
Well, uh, shoes. I wonder. I always like to ask kickers about their shoes because, I mean, you guys don't wear the normal shoes. Oh. Tell me about your shoes and if you have any way that you take special care of them. You got <laughs> extra pairs and how does that work for you in your um, shoes? So for me, my thing is like, I just go full size smaller. Um, smaller. So I wear a ten and a half regular. So on the game days, like my cleats are nine and a half, which you got to break those things in or else your feet are going to be killing you. Um, yeah. Kind of toes are knuckled in a little bit, just trying to make sure so it's clean contact. Uh, but other than that, I'm a two soccer shoe guy, uh, just a full size smaller. I kind of go in there and scuff them up, get the cleats a little worn down. So when I kick, I don't catch the grass or maybe just the little things, but uh, nothing too crazy, I don't think. Did, did any, how did you come about to saying that my shoe needs to be a, a size smaller? Like, is it just, you knew you need to have a certain feel or? Uh, how does it feel come is a good word for it. Um, a lot of times I was kicking with like my 10 and a half shoes, I kept hitting the ground. And NFL, I mean, you get the balls in the ground, so you got to kick it and get underneath it and all that stuff. So with the shorter cleat, it allows you to get underneath the ball and get the ball elevated rather than catching the ground. You hit a low ball, they block it, stuff like that. So I would say just mostly just so I don't catch the ground and kick the big balls that people say. And do you, do you try to hold on to that cleat as far as your shoe forever, or do you rotate them? Uh, like, I usually often? try to go between like two or three pairs a season. Okay. Um, just being a kicker, they tend to start ripping. Okay. All that pressure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's the fun part. Even though I think the whole interview has been yeah, fun, I think it's right? Been a blast. We got we got some fan questions because I like to say I work for the fans. So you ready for some fan <laughs> questions? I'm ready to go. They're fun. They're fun. Uh, does he kick by thinking about the contact, heart, toe, leg swing, or by picking a spot that he wants to kick it through the uprights? Do you Can you repeat that? that one? Yeah, I'll repeat it. Does he kick by thinking about the contact? Hard toe leg swing, or by picking a spot through the uprights to send it. So I guess uh, are you focusing on where you're hitting the ball or where it's going? A little mix of all, but I'd say I just pick somebody out in the stands and try to kick it at them <laughs> or the scoreboard or whatever it is. I mean, I've definitely aimed at people before, whether yeah. it be somebody in a bright color or anything. You just gotta find your spot and just aim at it. So I'd say that, definitely a target. Okay, this just came to mind. So I know in Baltimore, maybe there's a few other stadiums, the screens is kind of low <laughs> when you're kicking. Does that play any? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of stadiums. I can't think off the top of my head, but there's a few whenever you're going to kick a field goal. I think that may be one, but when you look up, look at your target, you just see your face in the big right. screen. So it's just like, you got to aim at like, you, gotta, I mean, you can aim at your nose or something, but you, <laughs> ideally you just pick a number on the board and just go from there. But it's definitely kind of funny whenever you like look up, you're all serious and you see your fat face in the little helmet. So. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, what is it like, uh, you've had multiple holders this season. Mm. Uh, what's, what? kind of adjustments is it when you have multiple holders? Um, I mean, first of all, we've handled it really well and we've had nothing but great holders. So first, like credit to those guys. Uh, but second, it's just rhythm. Uh, you just getting out there on the practice field and snap, hold, kick, getting that rhythm down under 1.3 and just getting it going. Uh, so my biggest thing I would say, just practice makes perfect. So the more reps you get at something, just naturally you're gonna be more comfortable with it. So that timing of 1.3, did that come from you or is that coming from Chase? How did you come up with that? That's worldwide. That's Wor okay. worldwide. Every specialist with 1.3. That's like, the standard. Standard, yep. Okay. All right. Learn something new every day. That's why we have these fun interviews. So yeah. Like, so yeah, it's any kicker, they'll say 1.3 or better is the goal. So uh, early on, you weren't getting kicks, uh, touchbacks as far as your kickoffs. Yep. And you've been on a roll uh, since doing that. What did you change to be able to get those kickoffs to, uh, a little bit deeper? Uh, I mean, I've always been able to do it. Um, okay. Just in Arizona, they had me popping the ball up and covering down rather than kicking touchbacks. They didn't want touchbacks. So okay. I switched my technique back then. And then when I got here, I went to game one. They didn't want to hang it up. They wanted <laughs> touchback. So <laughs> the next day out of practice, Chase basically asked, do you have a deep kick? And I was like, yeah, I got my whole other setup. I just, they just never seen it. And then it was as simple as just doing the different steps. It literally took maybe two kicks. <laughs> So. That's one of those I'm glad you guys asked instead of, you know. Yeah, I was say, some of the guys like they assume like a weak leg and I'm like, all right, come on guys. But it's like, you know, it's just a whole different technique. I like that. Uh, last one, I hit the wrong button. What goes through your mind when you are kicking a field goal longer than your usual range? Um, so I'm kind of a different guy in a lot of aspects. Uh, I don't really check distances too much. Like I kind of got an idea if it's a 40 yard or a 50 yard or whatever, but I mean, I don't, you got to get the same ball every time. Uh, okay. You can't change anything. And if you do, that's whenever you start spraying the ball or whatever else. Uh, but for me, I kind of, I just, I, I just go out there and try to hit the ball and hit it straight. So I don't, I don't need to check the distances too much. Uh, okay. I have pretty good uh, confidence in my leg. Okay. So tell me about why you have 
the followers are less than a thousand because that's really going to be my <laughs> mission here. I'm going to start a campaign today. So, uh, go ahead and so it's reason. kind of a funny story. So last year during training camp in Arizona, I woke up one morning and my Twitter had gotten hacked in my Instagram. So everything had gotten hacked. There's like some, I mean, make sure I word this right, but I'm pretty sure it was like a Turkish group of some sort, um, supremacist or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but anyways, they started posting banners, like chants and stuff. Like, I'm, like it's to the point where like they're DMing people on my Twitter and Instagram. So I had to delete Twitter, I deleted my whole Twitter account. I had probably like maybe 14,000 followers or something like that. Okay. Deleted that. I was going to delete my Instagram and I did for about a month and they were able to wipe it and give it back. So luckily I kept my followers there. But okay. Twitter had to restart from the fresh and they're like, you want to be verified? I'm like, yeah, I can be verified, but I got like 70 followers. Nobody's going to believe me. So. <laughs> I jokingly uh, like to say it's my burner account because nobody, okay. <laughs> nobody really realizes I have a Twitter, which is kind of nice. So, but uh, yeah, definitely, I just jokingly call it my burner. Okay, well, you know what, my, you're 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 my kicker. You're the player of the week. Give me some followers. We got to like get it. you more. Than, this Panthers team has a great social media team, so uh -huh. we're gonna see how it goes. But uh, all right, now for the fun activity, right? I don't know if you noticed, but there's a football behind me. Did uh -huh. You see it? Yeah. Like all right. Ball. So I'm I'm gonna ask for a tip on on kicking the football, right? I see it. <laughs> so do I need to stand up for you, this? You, yeah, you can move your, move your seat back. I'm going to show you what I do. And then, and then you spend a second giving me a, a tip, all right? Because <laughs> I play flag football and they, we kick field goals. We get a little T. I'm going to show you my style. So, so if this was, by the way, this is, I always had to bring this out. This is my pride and joy. I got a game ball a couple years ago. Yeah, 40-yard dash? Yeah. Do I need to know the time? No, no. no. <laughs> it's this fast. It's this fast. So we're not going to kick it. But so if I'm kicking a field goal, right? I, I, I just eyeball it and I come about to here mm -hmm. and then I just, no, well, I'll probably take about two kicks, but I'm, I'm going for a straight toe kick. I, I can respect that. You can uh, respect that? So my thing is, my toe, like, I've had a couple guys come on a halftime of games, so like, you know, they do those little contests for like field goals right, and stuff. Right, right, right. So it's like the first question is, have you ever kicked a ball? Like, okay. do, you know the gen do you know the general idea of how to kick like this? No, well, no, I just go straight to See, the toe. So that's, most people are the same way. So I say, if there's a chance like this, your little flag football, come through and full toe poke it. I just tell people to toe poke the crap out of it. If they right. don't know how to kick it, it's going to go straight and it's going to go at least 20 yards in the air. So. Okay. And what, what if I want to, to elevate my kicking game? So oh, is, I mean, you is, get is this? The precise is you just got to drop the heel a little bit and open the foot. So and where am I going to make contact with the ball? Oh, right here. Right there? Yeah. There okay. Go. Well, I'll, I'll give it a trust. So something like I'll say, try, if you can, it, I wouldn't. I, would, I wouldn't recommend this toilet paper or tape. Hey, <laughs> hey, we had to make do. We had to make do. But uh, definitely open that, drop that heel a little bit, and open the toe up. Okay. Well, Kickoff is more this. Field goals is more this. Okay. Well, that, that's it, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, my field goals have been. I feel like I've been decent, respectable. Play when I, when I want to kick, the guys don't say no, no, no. Don't let Chris kick. But uh, come on back over here so you can be in, be in, be in camera. Uh, we're going to get you to a thousand followers at least, if not more. Okay, <laughs> Player of the Week for NFC. That's big. Nah. Uh, congratulations! Thanks for taking the time. Wish you much continued success in your career, Thank man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on here. This has been the, obviously the best interview I've ever done. I told so. you it was going to be the best. One. <laughs>